Hello, it's me, Kent Peters and Money Talk here. And y'all know what Turo is. Well, Spin Lister is pretty much the buy signal for Turo. Only it's not as good. So I've been using Spin Lister since June, so June, July, August, September, October. So it's been over four months since I signed for Spin Lister. And guess how many guess how much money I made in that in those four months from Spam Lister? Nada. I didn't make any money from Spam Lister. Not only have I didn't make any money, but I don't even get people messaging me about a bike. So basically I just haven't really had any success with this Spam Lister site. The, the bike I am right now, it's, it's a green mountain bike. I mean, it's a good bike. I'm renting it out. I had designed for like five, six to five, nine person, but you actually like change the seat so taller people can ride the bike. Even shorter people. <laughs> but that was just the option they, they gave me when he was talking about height. I mean, I thought about maybe getting some more bicycles and probably trying to rent them out, but I haven't even rent out the one I have, so I really don't see the point of getting more bikes just to rent them out on Spam Lister. And I haven't made anything from referrals either. So there's like a referral code for this one. Every time somebody signs up for me Spam Lister, I get $5. For anybody at list, anybody at list, say ride or rents a ride on Spin Lister. But I ain't making money from that. So, why isn't Spin Lister as successful as, say, Toro? Why is it? I guess it depends on what area you live in. Maybe people in my area just aren't into. Written out bicycles. That could be the reason. That's the reason I'm guessing. Maybe I live in somewhere like Colorado, where Pew do Pew mountain bike quite a bit in Colorado. Maybe I would have been more successful with Spin Lister. I honestly don't know. I was just pretty much testing this out. I'm testing this out so you guys don't have to test it out. So spin lister so far is a failure. But hey, sometimes you're just not going to be successful. You're going you're to fail sometime. Spin lister is just one of those that I failed. I mean, I do see I do see some potential in spin lister though. It really could be like a successful business if you have people people in the area that want to rent bikes all the time. So I have mines for like, what do I have, a $20 a day? I honestly don't even remember. I have to go back and check. I believe I had like $100 a week. If anybody want to rent my bike out for $100 a week, they could do it. I think I had it like that. So that is basically it. If, you, if you're interested in giving Spin Lister a chance, I should have my link down here. I mean, just because I was successful with Spin Lister does not mean you won't be successful. So you may want to give Spin Lister a chance. You can even do a video and let me know how, success, how successful you were. Because honestly, I wasn't. My theory, people in my area just don't. They either don't want to rent bicycles or people just don't want to rent bikes. That can be another reason. People just don't want to rent bicycles. <laughs> but with that being said, have a good day. Bye for now.